Hello there and uh, welcome back. So uh, in this video I am going to show you how to easily implement uh, one tap uh, sign in with Google in your Android application using uh, Jetpack Compose. Now for that purpose uh, we are going to use uh, my own uh, new library that uh, I have just created which is called uh, one tap uh, Compose. And basically with that library uh, you will be able to implement uh, this kind of a logic only with uh, this uh, one new composable function, right? So after we successfully authenticate, uh, then we are going to receive uh, basically a token ID from this uh, composable function. There you go. And uh, if something bad happens, uh, then this uh, second uh, lambda on dialog dismissed will be triggered and there we can see the actual message. So pretty easy, right? Now there are only two main parameters that we need to pass to this uh, one tap uh, a composable function, the first one is the actual state and the second one is a client ID of the project that you have made on a Google Cloud platform. So don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. Uh, also this um, uh, one tap uh, signing state will also be used to actually trigger uh, this uh, actual uh, one tap dialog, right? So with this uh, open function we will be able to trigger uh, this actual uh, one tap uh, sign in uh, dialog. Okay, so uh, this is the actual library that you can find uh, on my uh, GitHub profile. The link uh, will be down in the video description. Uh, the only thing that you need to do, you need to add this dependency and also one repository within your uh, settings Gradle file. So there you go. Just this uh, new uh, repository as well. Okay, so now that I have shown you how this library will actually work and how you can easily implement that to your project, uh, now let me show you how you can actually obtain that uh, uh, client ID which is a necessary value that you need to pass to this uh, composable function. There you go. So in order to obtain this um, client ID uh, you need to create a new project on a Google Cloud platform and then you need to open up this uh, credentials page, right? So APIs and services and then credentials. Uh, after you open up this page, then you need to create uh, two different uh, OAuth uh, client IDs. The first one is a web and the second one is for Android. So you can just press here this button, create credentials. So OAuth uh, client ID. And the first one needs to be uh, for web application and the second one for Android. Now, uh, why do we need to create uh, both of those? Well, let me show you first. So this uh, web client will allow you to basically grab that actual client ID that uh, you are going to need to uh, pass to that composable function in your project. So there you go. And this other uh, Android uh, client ID will be used to actually uh, specify uh, the actual package name of your project and SHA-1 certificate fingerprint as well. Now if you're wondering how you can generate this uh, code, well, very easily. So just uh, go to this uh, Gradle. Uh, press this uh, little uh, Gradle icon and then type here a uh, Gradle space uh, sign report. So press enter and after that you're going to immediately receive a SHA-1 fingerprint that you can pass and paste to that actual uh, Google Cloud Platform project, right? So after you pass uh, those values right there, then you can save this uh, uh, client ID and you're good to go, right? Now the last thing that you need to configure within this Google Cloud platform for your project is the OAuth consent screen. So just go to this actual page and you need to create and configure your actual consent screen. In this case as you can see the first app name, I think that this actual app name should be the same as the name in this project settings. Okay, so there we go. This uh, project ID uh, needs to be pasted uh, right here as the name of this application because I had some issues when uh, I have uh, entered here a different name than uh, this one. Anyhow, after that you just need to select your email. Then uh, down below everything should be the same. Uh, in those uh, scopes you don't have to configure anything because it will work uh, either way. Then save and continue. Here you don't have to pass anything if you don't want to of course. And there you go. So that's everything you need to do to actually configure your uh, Google Cloud Platform in order to use uh, a one tap uh, sign in with your project. So after you have uh, created those credentials, uh, then you need to copy this uh, client ID of this uh, web application or a web client and you need to paste that uh, to your actual project or inside this uh, client ID parameter of uh, this composable function. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? So. Um, you need to be sure to pass this uh, one tap sign in state. Also, you can use this uh, state to actually trigger uh, this uh, one tap uh, sign in dialog. 
you can also use this uh, open the property of this uh, sunny state to actually uh, check out and see when uh, this actual dialog will uh, be opened or not. And uh, basically that's uh, everything you need to do to actually implement uh, this functionality in your application. So only one uh, composable function. You can find this uh, repository in uh, the video down below, so no worries there. Now, uh, the last uh, thing that I want to point out about uh, one tap uh, Sunny with Google is that you may encounter some uh, strange errors when it comes to uh, one tap and uh, Android emulators. So, so sometimes even if you have uh, added a Google account on your uh, Android emulator, you may receive a message that says a Google account not found within this uh, on dialog dismissed Lambda. And if that's the case, then you should try to actually add a Google account to your uh, to your Android emulator once again. And if that doesn't work, then try switching and using a different kind of uh, emulator. And if that doesn't work either, uh, then I highly suggest you to use the real uh, smartphone device. And in that case, everything should work uh, just fine. Also, uh, one thing to note here is that this is the first uh, version of uh, this uh, OneTap uh, Compose library. So uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about this library in general. Also, your uh, suggestions are appreciated. And I will use uh, your suggestions to actually uh, improve this library for the future. So be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video, but only if you find it helpful. And uh, for this video, that'll be all.